reorganization for the Union 61 members. Your current chair is Megan Cunningham and your current secretary is Mary Beleza. The Tantasqua reorg will occur at the following meeting, the Tantasqua meeting, so we won't do that here. Uh, but at this time, uh, I'll entertain any nominations for the position of Union 61 chair. I nominate Megan Cun Cunningham. We have a nomination for Megan Cunningham. Is there a second to that nomination? Second. We have a nomination made and seconded. Are there any other nominations for the position of chair? Seeing not, I'll close nominations. Union 61 members only. All those in favor of approving the nomination of Megan Cunningham as your chair will say aye. 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 Raise your cards. We're quiet bunch. <laughs> <laughs> any opposed? Any abstentions? Motion carries unanimously. Congratulations. Thank you. Next, I'll open nominations for the position of secretary. Are there any nominations? Current secretary is Mary Beleza. She's not here tonight, but she's at the lacrosse uh, bank. Huh? Yes. Is there a nomination? Eric, did you nominate Mary? I, I nominate Mary. I don't, she, she's not a voting member from Burgess, though. Can she be? Oh, no, she's not. I'll take that back. Oh, that's a good point if she's not a Union 61. Mm -hmm. She's not a Union 61. I don't know why she couldn't be. Right. She just wouldn't vote. Short, right. But I don't, you know, it's kind of a unique. Mm -hmm. Because everyone, all Union 61 members. Well, yeah. are there other nominations yeah. for the position of secretary? I nominate Megan Panic. We have a nomination for Megan Panic. Is there a second? Second. We have a nomination and it's been seconded. Mr. Iller, are you looking to withdraw your nomination of Mr. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I could read your mind from down here. <laughs> <laughs> just the name of the two people because I don't know these new faces. Who made this? You don't know make oh, oh, no, 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 no. Karen did and seconded by Oh, Kristen, Kristen Dewey. Dewey. Thank you. Are there any other nominations for the position of secretary? Seeing none, I'll close nominations for the position of secretary. We have one nomination, Megan Panic. All those Union 61 members in favor, raise your yellow cards. Opposed? Abstentions? Motion carries. Congratulations, Megan Panic. Thanks. All right. This time, the Union 61 leadership is Chairman Megan Panic, Secretary, uh, no, Chairman <laughs> Megan Cunningham, Secretary Megan uh, Panic. Uh, current leadership for, that's going to get really confusing. <laughs> the Megans. The Megan squared. And current leadership for the Tantasqua School Committee is myself, Mike Valenzuela, Chair, and then our Secretary is actually an exiting member, Mr. Gilmeister. So we'll be, uh, we'll be nominating a new secretary uh, at the next meeting. All right, we'll move to approval of the minutes for the October 16th, 2018 regular session minutes, regular session meeting. I'll entertain a motion to approve as presented. So moved. Motion's been made. Is there a second? Made and seconded. Discussion? Any edits? Yep. Um, Michelle, we, uh, Michelle Shea, she was actually here for the last meeting. So it's not present. She was actually here. Okay. Any other edits? Seeing none, the chair will call for a vote. First of the union. All those in favor of approval of the minutes as amended from the union will say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Are there any abstentions for the record? We have one. 
I'll call a vote for Tantasqua. All those in favor will say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Abstentions for the record? We have one. Motion carries. That'll take us to the superintendent evaluation. Uh, as you know, we transitioned to a new timeline, new format, and we've gone uh, to an automated survey um, since our uh, since uh, last year's uh, uh, process. We had a number of modifications. Um, I can report uh, that we've absolutely seen an uptick in participation uh, relative to participation for uh, the union. We saw roughly 43 percent participation. For Tantasqua, 72% participation. Oh, Not that nice. I'm competitive, but that's us. <laughs> <laughs> We've been pushing this for a yeah, long time, Pat, haven't we? Bad. I thought we were going to be up a little I higher. It, we was it was that's trending. It was trending, and I, dangling I, I, was, <laughs> I was real excited. Uh, of those overall responses, 78% of the total responses rated our superintendent exemplary. 22% rated her proficient. There were no ratings for unsatisfactory or needs improvement. So 100% of the responses were in the exemplary and proficient category, very much on the high end of the exemplary category. Um, we received, uh, as you know, uh, a series of comments. I promised Dr. Nozick I wouldn't read many of them, but there were uh, a couple of uh, really nice comments. Um, this is one I, I really liked. Dr. Nozick leads the district with vision and a calmness that makes you feel that everything is always under control. She often has the answers to questions before they're even asked. She's present in the buildings, at events, and among her staff. She finds time for even the most non-essential issues and does so without patronizing you. Another great year for Dr. Nozick. The district is certainly lucky to have you. Thought that was a very nice comment and there are many, many other great comments. Uh, I think um, we've seen obviously an improvement in, in responses between both the union and Tantasqua. I think we're seeing the new timeline is allowing those members that are exiting the committee to have the opportunity to take advantage of actually filling out the survey so that Dr. Nozick is being reviewed by those that actually worked with her over the course of the year. Uh, in a minute, we'll talk uh, a little bit about the structure we'd like to continue relative to the goals committee and the process review that goes along with this. Uh, but overall, I, I think we've seen some really nice improvement relative to the process and relative to engagement. Uh, at this time, it, it is required that we take a vote affirming the actual rating of the superintendent. Uh, and so uh, given the uh, responses and the very high uh, e percentage of exemplary, I would entertain a motion to approve on behalf of uh, both the union and Tantasqua a rating of exemplary for Dr. Nozick. So, so moved. Moved. we have a motion made by Mr. Haggerty or Mrs. Barnacle. They both made it at the same time. Uh, is there a second? Second. Made and seconded. Is there any discussion relative to uh, rating Dr. Nozick as exemplary? All right, the chair will call for a vote from the union first. All those in favor of the motion will say aye. Aye. Opposed? Nay. Any abstentions? <coughs> chair will call for a vote of Tantasqua. All those in favor of the motion will say aye. 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 Opposed? Nay. Abstentions? On behalf of both the union and Tantasqua, the motion carries unanimously. Congratulations, Dr. Nozick, on another wonderful Thank year. Thank you. Thank you. It's my pleasure to, to be here and continue to serve. Appreciate the support very much. Thank you. Thank you. Since I'm heading to Nashville, they would say, we appreciate you. Mm -hmm. That's how they talk down on the song. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll move uh, to the, <laughs> we'll move to the, to the uh, Superintendent Gold Committee. So I think as folks know, um, at Tantasqua a couple of years ago, um, Pat Barnacle, myself, Sheila Noise Miller, initiated uh, a goals uh, discussion. Uh, we then had Susan Klein join us at the Tantasqua level as, long, as well as Mr. Gilmeister. Uh, and then we talked about you know, bringing forward to this entire body uh, the option to really expand that goals committee to have representation not just from Tantasqua but also from the union. Uh, and so last year uh, we took a motion that uh, directed each elementary chair to either represent their committee or appoint a 
committee member from their respective elementary school committee for a total of five, one from each town. And then it directed me as chair of Tantasqua to appoint five members for a total of 10 members for the goals committee. Uh, the goals committee would uh, be responsible for working with Dr. Nozick to really establish and set a recommendation relative to the goals that she would be responsible for that then come before this entire body uh, at our fall meeting. Uh, we also were charged with evaluating process and driving greater participation, some of which you've seen as a result of uh, the new automated template uh, and also uh, an uptick in participation. Uh, so at this time, we'd like to continue with that process, uh, which would uh, ask each of the elementary chairs to appoint a representative and then ask myself to appoint uh, five members from Tantasqua for a total of 10. Uh, is there any objection to continuing that process? Is there any objection from anyone within the union or Tantasqua? Uh, by unanimous consent, we will consider that uh, an approved motion and we will proceed. Uh, I will, uh, from a Tantasqua perspective, um, we have one vacancy. Uh, so uh, I'll be, uh, you know, welcoming uh, any uh, interested parties. We currently don't have representation from uh, Holland. So if there's an interested member from Holland, uh, I'd love to have a Holland member join that. If there isn't, then we'll open it up for um, other members of Tantasqua. And then uh, relative to the union membership, I think we'll just expect uh, the name provided to us, whether it's, and I can tell you who it is currently, uh, for the union. Uh, let's see. Currently we've got, uh, for Sturbridge, it's Kate Alexander. Uh, for Brimfield, it's Michelle Shea. Brookfield, Andrew Dunn. Holland, Cheryl Raymond. And for Wales, it's Cindy Lena. Uh, so if the intent is to maintain the current member, just advise us. If the intent is to change when you all reorganize in the fall, just let us know uh, of that as well. We'll be looking to pull together that uh, full committee uh, sometime early in the fall uh, to be able to be prepared for our first joint meeting, which will happen in October, October, November. So, we, we, yeah, we'll be looking to have our first meeting sometime in September. So uh, please, just for the Union 61 uh, committees can advise us. Any questions on that? Hmm? Oh, we didn't do introductions. <laughs> People don't know who we are. Well, I just realized that. Way to keep it on. Very good. Very good. Very good. Well, let, let's do some intros. Then. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean. There's a lot of new faces, so I thought maybe. Absolutely. <laughs> Not on the agenda. The Union 61 chairwoman has requested introductions <laughs> occur, and I will uh, dub that as unanimous consent. So. Uh, Mike Valenzuela, Chair Tantasqua from Wales. Meg Cunningham, uh, Union 61 Chair, Brookfield, and Tantasqua. Pat Cothier, I'm Rear Recording Secretary. Sheila Noyce Miller, Tantasqua, Brookfield. Hey, Boys Wales School Committee. Bill Haggerty, Sturbridge, Tantasqua School Committee. Christine Randall, Wales Chair, and Tantasqua School Committee. Cindy Lena, Wales Committee. Laura Alden, Holland. Sarah Naples, Holland. Cheryl Raymond, Tantasqua and Holland. Eric Giller, Tantasqua and Holland School Committee. Pamela Fitzgerald, Tantasqua School Committee. Kristen Tui, Sturber School Committee. Delia Brower, Brimfield. Shelley Shea, Brimfield School Chair. Jennifer Polson at Customs, Brimfield and Tantasqua. Kimberly Hirsch, School Committee, Brimfield. Karen Koval, Sturber School Committee. Megan Panic, Sturbridge School, School Committee. Susan Fine, Tantasco School Committee, Sturbridge. Sue Waters, Tantasco School Committee, Sturbridge. Kristen Leo, Tantasco School Committee, Sturbridge. Pat Barnacle, Tantasco School Committee, and uh, Sturbridge. Deb Boyd, Associate Superintendent. Jody Barasa, Assistant Superintendent. Superintendent. Thank you. You got it. <laughs> All right, next uh, item on the agenda is the Tantasqua and Union 61 Fall Retreat, um, which we are scheduling and will hold on October 19th, uh, which is a Saturday, uh, at a uh, location yet to be determined. Um, 
we, we want to put this on the agenda for a couple of reasons. Uh, one, this is a practice that the Tantaswa School Committee started about seven years ago, uh, where we uh, early in the school year would get together for a retreat slash workshop on a half day Saturday where we would be able to really focus in on some topics that um, require a little bit more lengthy discussion uh, and engagement than oftentimes you have time for in a normal meeting. Um, throughout the, you know, a number of Tantasco meetings, subcommittee meetings, and also through the goals committee meetings this year, uh, a number of kind of questions and, and, and discussion came up around topics like the mission and vision of the union, uh, the district improvement plan, our strategic plan, um, in addition, you know, the opportunity to do a refresher on special topics. In the past, we've done some, some uh, refreshers on parliamentary procedure and, and, and budget 101. Um, we often are able to bring in a school-related speaker, and often also we try to bring in an external speaker or someone that could come in and externally, from the external, uh, from externally to kind of facilitate some of these discussions. Um, you know, I think it's, it's the view of uh, at least the Tantasco membership that we don't want to just do this, you know, in a silo. And that a lot of these things really relate to all the elementary schools and the overall union as a whole. And so, you know, we, I think many of us would like to open uh, the invitation to everybody here around this table and those that uh, couldn't join us tonight uh, to participate in that retreat workshop on October 16th. 19th. Um, 19th. 19th. If you come the 16th, you, <laughs> you, can, you, you, you can prep. Um, yeah, you'll get just me. Right? Yeah. Um, and again, you know, we're still trying to iron out the agenda, and we'll certainly engage with uh, Megan and with some of the elementary chairs just for validation. But, but we believe there's enough to discuss and really think through around the mission, vision, district improvement plan, the strategic plan. These are uh, really robust documents that you know a lot of folks have spent a lot of time on over the years, um, but sometimes they're not refreshed or they haven't been looked at in a number of years, and it brings you know an opportunity to really think through some alterations and changes and to kind of evaluate those things. Uh, we've talked about bringing in a facilitator to help with that discussion so that it's really a workshop and not just uh, an engaging workshop and not just the kind of regular meeting that we're accustomed to where we take care of normal business. So, you know, again, we've seen these be successful in the past, uh, and, and particularly it allows for a little bit more of a comfortable atmosphere where we can dive into and, and really spend a significant amount of time on some pretty key important topics. Um, Pat, do you want to add anything on this? I, I know that these no, are important I, topics. And those are the topics we've talked about, but certainly would welcome input on things people are interested Absolutely. in. Absolutely. Yeah, that's a great point. Um, you know, we, we'll, we'll frame up a tentative agenda to try to get that circulated, but if there are uh, certain topics uh, that are important to you or your school committee and, and or, you know, just candidly in the past, we've had new members approach us and say, I don't really understand how the school budget works. And, and Deb yeah. has come in and run a nice workshop and really brought folks up to speed on all the different acronyms and the funding formulas and how that kind of all works. And I, I know folks have walked away Sam, even members that have been on the committee for a number of years, yeah. wow, what a great opportunity to kind of understand that better. So certainly would welcome uh, any suggestions. I think we think there's plenty of topics, but we want to frame it in a way that, again, we can really spend a significant amount of time on some of these things and drilling into it. Um, this is posted. It's technically a gathering and via the open meeting law. We would have to post such a gathering, but we don't run uh, the session you know, like we would a normal meeting. It's, it's not meant to be about motions and, and uh, all of that in votes. We, we typically do a working session and then if things need to be ratified or adopted, you know, that would come forward uh, in the joint no committee. Camera. What's that? There's also no camera, which makes interactions more free. Can we? Yeah, a little more candid. Deborah? Right. Well, if I could, I mean, there could be. It's a meeting, there could be, right. but there's probably less likely because we're going off site. We're intentionally looking for, you know, a, a, a site other than the schools to kind of, A, have a, an air of neutrality and, you know, let's really kind of think fresh about, especially when we're talking about strategic planning and, and future district improvement plans. So I just wanted to. Actually, thank you for the segue because I, I wanted to make sure folks know, especially Tantasco, we're not thinking that this looks just like the past Tantasco retreats where we are literally trying to shove in regular meeting and whatever little workshop and everybody yeah. needs to get out by 11. 
we're hoping to have maybe a morning speaker lunch and, a, and an afternoon. Um, so if you can kind of plan accordingly, obviously we're not going to go till five or six o'clock at night, but we are hoping that this, this be something that goes until early afternoon. We're going to plan lunch and and we'll get back to you with the where's and at least and a shell of. Um, we, we've seen a couple of Bill and, and, and Pat and I actually had a couple of sessions last November at the um, MASS, MASC conference and a couple of presenters that we thought were really good. Uh, one in particular we're going to try and get to come and, and, and present or facilitate whatever works out best. So if you can keep the date in mind and, and leave a little more time than we might have usually done, that would be great. I just think we want to clarify that the rumor that we're going to do it on the Cape is not true. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're bringing ideas back from the Cape, but I, I mean, we can put a bus out We there. talked about York Lane. <laughs> that too. Makes sense. So just please, yeah, please, Pam. Um, is this in addition to that Saturday in September, or is this? Anything? We're not. No. no Saturday in September. Okay. So that this is in place of. And then um, for Tantasco, and we'll talk about this at our meeting, but we'll be looking to have our normal September meeting on the third Tuesday of the month. Yeah. 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 And again, I think to Deb's point, you know, in, with Tantasco, we've tried to, again, make that an opportunity to expand the discussion, but then also fit in a meeting. That won't be the intent. There won't be a normal business agenda for this day. It'll be very focused on some key topics we can dive into. So just please hold that date. And uh, if everybody stays to the end, Haggerty will uh, take us all to dinner. Any ideas beyond some of the things we talked about, you can email Aaron, myself, or Megan, um, and we're all three, and just let us know. Sorry, um, does that speaker, do we pay that speaker? Or how does that work? We, we probably we would. There would probably be a charge for um, the facilitation. And, and where does that money come from? There are school committee school expense, expense lines, lines which is for professional development for training for things like that. And they, these folks typically aren't expensive. They're often either former school committee members, um, mm -hmm. superintendents, other educators. Professor. Professors. Professors. Yes. So. Mm -hmm. Is he as superintendent? Yeah. Other yeah. discussions? And school yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. He's a, he's a okay. school Great. member of the past yeah. So just keep that date on your calendars and more information will be forthcoming. All right, uh, final agenda topic uh, for tonight relates to the superintendent contract. Uh, as Tantasco members heard and as we took a vote uh, last uh, month, we a few weeks ago, we, um, we are uh, preparing to uh, enter negotiations with our superintendent whose uh, contract uh, is expiring and she has notified us that she wishes to uh, negotiate a new contract which is great news uh, so the Tantasco school committee last month took a vote uh, directing uh, myself and an appointed member of my choosing to uh, begin those negotiations well, we request a similar vote of the Union 61 membership uh, to uh, effectively authorize Megan Cunningham to represent the Union 61 membership and allow her to appoint the Union 61 member to join her, myself, and Mr. Haggerty uh, to begin the negotiations relative to the superintendent's contract. Uh, we'd like to begin those negotiations uh, soon and uh, work on them during the summer uh, so that we can ratify that contract uh, amongst the respective school committees uh, early in the school year. And so uh, with that, uh, from the Union 61, I'd like to entertain a motion to authorize Megan Cunningham to represent you and select a member of her choosing from the Union 61 membership to join uh, the Tantasqua negotiators to begin contract negotiations with the superintendent. So moved. The motion's been made. Is there a second? Second. It's made and seconded. Is there any discussion of the union membership? Seeing none, the chair will call for a vote. All those in favor of the motion will say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Abstentions? Motion carries unanimously. Great. All right, that concludes our formal uh, agenda. Uh, at this time, uh, we have a few moments. I'm happy to open up uh, for open forum. Uh, are there any uh, questions, topics that anyone would like to bring forward to the joint committee? 
opportunity to entertain a motion to adjourn the joint committee meeting. So moved. Motion's been made. Second. Made and seconded. Discussion? All those in favor will say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. Tantasco members, please stay behind. We'll be starting up at 7 o'clock. Thank you, everybody. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Just doing your meeting. Call the meeting to order at 7 p.m. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At this point, I'd like to take a brief uh, moment uh, to offer some recognition. Uh, as many will know, there's a tradition among the school committee that uh, we recognize with a plaque uh, those members that have served with us in our departing. Uh, we have two members uh, that uh, are departing or have departed the school committee uh, that we appreciate and want to recognize their service. Um, first, uh, she advised us uh, very recently that a quick decision was made to uh, move back home to Pennsylvania and uh, that uh, she didn't even have a lot of time to kind of think through that transition but that she would be effectively leaving the school committee after the final meeting of this year. Um, Susan Klein has been a real great addition to the committee over the course of her, her term, one term on the committee. Uh, she stepped right in and, and, and served on a number of the subcommittees. She did great work with us on the goals committee. Uh, she's been a pleasure. Uh, she always reached out with questions and appreciate uh, the responses, and it uh, was always uh, really nice to be able to uh, get to interact with her one-on-one, -on -one, but also as a member of this committee. So Susan, why don't you come on up here, uh, because on behalf of the Tantasco Regional School Committee, it's our pleasure to present you with this plaque in recognition of your dedicated service to the Tantasco School Committee and the entire region. Protect the Liberty Bell. So, like I said, I have, I have no clothes. Everything's packed. I couldn't even find my packet tonight. I read it. I know it came Friday. I asked my husband, "Did you pack it?" It's in a box somewhere. I think it is. When He's you really get to PA, you'll I'll remember. This. Uh, next, it's um, really a, a special moment that we get to invite uh, a good friend back to join us. Uh, technically departed from the committee a, a, bit, a, a bit ago, about a month or so ago. Um, Bill Gilmeister really doesn't require uh, that much uh, of a speech because we've all gotten the opportunity to work with him, um, myself included, over my entire tenure on the school committee. Uh, Bill is just uh, a great guy, someone that's uh, always willing to ask questions, push on an issue, and uh, quite honestly bring forward a, a, a different perspective and make sure that all sides of any issue that we discuss uh, has a different approach, different perspective, and a different opinion associated with it. I know many may not have always agreed with his perspective, but uh, I know that many, including myself, always respected his willingness to bring that uh, perspective forward, to engage in the dialogue. Uh, if you look at the work that Bill drove as chairman of the Bylaw and Policy Subcommittee, he really uh, instilled, instilled in that subcommittee uh, a, a lot of energy and passion uh, to looking at the core of the things that we do, which is set policy for the district. Uh, he's been a, a great uh, friend, uh, you know, advising me over the years on parliamentary procedure, someone I often looked to when we were dealing with some challenging motions or amendments. Uh, you know, Bill always put his personal opinion aside and gave what the parliamentary perspective was on that set issue, and I uh, always counted on him for that advice and counsel. Uh, Mr. Gilmeister, come on up here. Dr. Gilmeister, come on up here. Um, I just, 
<laughs> Mr. Gilmeister, you have been uh, a great member of the committee. I was glad that you were willing to come back uh, even after having departed uh, because we really want to thank you for your service. Uh, you had five kids that went through the school. Was six. It? Six, I'm sorry. Um, you were always uh, someone I could count on to be joining me on stage during graduations. And uh, this year I thought you were going to knock your poor daughter off the stage. <laughs> I can't right off. all the caps off. Every single one of them. The boys, they didn't knock the caps off, but my daughters, it's just like a uh, an embarrassing thing. But uh, you've, been, uh, you've been just a great member of the committee, and we, uh, we're really going to miss you. I appreciate your service. All righty. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, he's already ready. He's shoving me out the door. Right. Yeah, see you later, bro. Get down the road there, guy. Mr. 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 Sturgis, I thought we had a point of order. Mr. Chairman, before he departs, uh, I need to go through you uh, to ask for permission from the school committee to declare one more Johnny Tremaine book obsolete. <laughs> I want to thank you all. It's really been uh, it's been a joy working on the committee. I just I, I love the deliberative assemblies, as Mike says. I just absolutely think it's so critical uh, that all sides of a question are heard uh, in a debate, regardless of whether I agree with you or not. I think it's very very important uh, that all these sides come out and we have a full discussion uh, of the issue so that we can be informed and make good decisions and. You know, I want to say that this is one of the best districts, in my opinion, in the entire state. Uh, and I think this committee and our, and our administration are doing a bang-up job. And I'm just looking forward to all the great things that you folks are going to do uh, moving forward. So I thank you very much for the recognition, the giant Tremaine book, <laughs> and the cookies. <laughs> I'll say one last point. When uh, Bill told me he was leaving, I said, wow, we might actually have someone come to the communication sections on the, uh, the, the public uh, <laughs> inquiry sections on yeah. the agenda. Because <laughs> oftentimes, well, is there anybody here that likes to address the committee and no one will speak up? But I bet you Bill will come for a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, we'll, we'll see. We'll we'll see. see. I may be back. I may be back. <laughs> Thank you all Thank very you, much. Bill. Thank Good you. Good luck. Thank you. Actually, we could sue that one for packing. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. At this uh, time, we will move to our reorganization. Uh, due to the fact that my role as chair will be up for consideration, I'll turn the meeting over for that uh, to Dr. Nozick. Thank you very much. At this time, I will open the nominations for the position of chairman of the school committee. I'd like to nominate Mike Valenzuela. Second. Thank you. Motion made and seconded. Are there any additional names to put forward? Hearing none, we'll call for nominations. And I do know that there, um, some years we do the ballot vote, but hearing no other nominations, I think we can, Mr. Vice Chair, we can do it through a voice vote. I, I, I vote by a secretary's vote ballot. We uh, elect Mr. Valenzuela as chair of the Fifth Ask for Regional School District Committee. Perfect. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Mr. Chairman. Thank you very much. Thank you, committee. I'll get hit it once there. Thought she was going to. I didn't read that many of the comments. <laughs> she might have used it that night in Wales, but. Did you feel good? Thank, thank you very much, committee. I uh, appreciate the opportunity to continue the meeting. At this time, we'll take nominations for the position of vice chairman. I nominate Bill Haggerty. Second. Made and seconded nomination of vice chairman Haggerty. Are there any other nominations? Seeing none, the chair will close 
nomination. Is all those in favor of the nomination of Mr. Haggerty as vice chairman will say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Congratulations, Mr. Vice Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Valenbaugh. We will now open nominations for the position of secretary. I'd like to nominate Sheila Reese Miller. Noise Miller. Noise Miller. Noise Miller. <laughs> I was going to say, who's that? <laughs> we have a nomination for Mrs. Noise Miller. Second. The motion to nominate has been seconded. Are there any other nominations for the position of secretary? Seeing none, the chair will close nominations. All those in favor of the nomination of Mrs. Noise Miller as secretary for the committee will say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Abstentions. Motion carries. It's a tough job. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> you might be borrowing in the next year. You might have some signatures. Yeah. Very good. All that bond. That uh, yes. Yes, yes, she, she does. does. <clears throat> All right, that will move us to the approval of the minutes for May 21st, 2019. We'll entertain a motion to approve as presented. So moved. Motion's been made by Mrs. Noyes Second. Miller, and seconded by Mrs. Barnacle. Any discussion, any edits? Mm -hmm. Seeing none, the chair will call for a vote. All those in favor of the motion to approve the minutes as presented will say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Abstentions? We have one, two. Fair one. All right, that'll bring us to our financial report. Mrs. Boyd. Hey. You have the latest in your packet. We are absolutely winding down, um, and I think we are ending pretty much exactly where we want to, where I act we actually, at this point, have a goal of having around 200,000, two to 250, <coughs> to turn, to roll into E&D, and have an adequate E&D to fund what we voted last month, or two months ago, to um, fund a big part of the window and door project. So I think we're closing up pretty well. We're not in a place where we've been the last couple of years where we're saying, is there anything else that we need or do we want to order to get a jump on next year? But our budget next year, by the way, segue, I'm <coughs> squirreling away, as of last night, we have a budget. Sturbridge Town Meeting was last night, so that's four of the five. We still do have Brookfield and, and uh, believe they're going to support our budget next Friday. But we're moving forward with the budget that that we prepared and, and I think we're in de decent shape for next year. So we should end this year as planned and start next year as planned. Any questions for the Associate Superintendent? Do you want to give an update on the Windows project now? Or I think I'll wait for my report. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. All right, that'll bring us to staff reports. Sturgis, you can't really make a greater report than given yeah, that, that book, so I, yeah. I'll even give a night <laughs> off of that. <laughs> I, would, I just want to make one announcement to Elise, and I do appreciate the night off. Uh, uh, I have invitations here for the school committee from our band, from Mrs. Colwell, from our band director. Next Wednesday night, it's the night before the last day of school, we know that, but thanks to no snow days, really. Uh, it was scheduled a long time ago, but our band concert is to, uh, there's going to be a recognition in honor of uh, Mr. Plum, a music teacher who's been in the district for 49 years at this point. Uh, I, 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 I didn't have him. But uh, he is Lucy's. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Colwell speaks extremely highly of him, and uh, anyone I've come across who, when his name is mentioned, uh, jumps out of their seat. So she's going to be recognizing him and honoring him at next week's uh, band concert. So uh, this is consider this your invitation to join us. It'll be at the high school at 7 p.m. Uh, on the 12th, Wednesday night, the 12th. So, uh, Mike. Sure. Um, the, my monthly report was kind of a recap, a summary of everything that's happened this year in our student activities, athletic performing arts. Uh, just a quick note, because you guys had a wonderful experience with TAVE. TAVE led our student council this year to the first national gold uh, level classification we've ever had in school history. Amazing accomplishment. There are not many high schools that get awarded that. So I just wanted, I thought you guys would love to know that. Uh, it's an incredible honor for us as a school and especially our student council and TAVE to just an amazing job with their e-board. We've got a lot of great kids involved in student council, so it was wonderful to see all that hard work pay off. Uh, we have a proposal for a study tour uh, for Madrid, Seville, Lisbon. This trip um, two years ago went to uh, France and Spain. This, this year we tried to do it. It didn't run. There weren't enough kids. We have about 12 kids that are interested right now. 
Um, but we want to get this approved by you guys ahead of time so we can do some fundraising for the kids this summer. Uh, it is a trip next April vacation. Ms. McKinstry is going along with Mrs. Paez. So that's in your packet. So I would need approval for that. We'll entertain the motion as presented. Motion been made by Mrs. Randall, seconded by Ms. Cunningham. <coughs> Any discussion? Um, how many students total? Uh, last time they took 15. 15. Okay. Yeah, so and they have 12, 12 interested right, right now. now, yes. So we'll say we got to do some, a little bit of fundraising too. Okay. So. What's the cost per student? The cost, I believe it's about, uh, it's $4,000. Yeah. So 4177. So we're going to try to have, have some events at the school and stuff for them this summer to lower that cost. Be great. <coughs> Any other discussion? Questions? Said the magic word, McKinstry. Oh, all, those in, all those in favor of the motion will say aye. Uh, aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Motion carries you in. Awesome. And then the last thing I have is um, we, have we had a wonderful class night, uh, wonderful graduation. Oh, Mike, sorry. sorry. We have to exempt. Are there any chaperones? Yes, please. There's two. Okay, Ms. McKinstry so and Ms. Paez. We'll need a motion to yep. exempt any faculty or staff members from the conflict of interest law. So moved. Seconded. Okay. Seconded. Discussion? All those in favor of the motion will say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Abstentions? Motion carries. Sorry, I forgot to do that. Okay, thank you. Awesome. Um, next year, uh, we have we had a wonderful class night this year. Terrific graduation on Sunday. Uh, things went very, very well. It was a wonderful, incredible class of kids. Uh, we're very proud of all their accomplishments. Um, it, it's important for this group to know that it's amazing again on class night. Unbelievable amounts of scholarships given by just people in our community who love our kids, love our school. Alumni, uh, lap, alumni that have passed away in, in their honor, uh, but it's a credible event, and we're just very, very thankful for our community for that. So a lot of kids going off to college with some financial assistance, and then Sunday uh, could not have gone better. We had a lovely day; it was beautiful out, and the rain held off till till the parents were long gone. Um, next year we have a uh, kind of anomaly in our dating system. We have uh, the last day of school is June twelfth. Um, Memorial Day, typically our graduation falls the weekend after Memorial Day. Um, next year, Memorial Day is May 25th. So the Sunday after that would be May 31st. So I am hoping that with your approval, we could have graduation on May 31st, with Memorial Day being the 25th, instead of June 7th. Um, it falls better with our calendar. Um, we can still have our uh, class night on the Thursday before, if need be. So something we're looking to do if possible. The number of days with seniors and everything else, it works out that it's the same weekend as this year, it's just May 31 mm -hmm. instead of June 2nd. So I can get a connect that out to everybody so everybody's aware of it this week immediately so there's no conflicts. So just want to make sure if there were any questions on that. Uh, I was just hoping to get it on the We're just trying to finalize so many things on the calendar between district events. If we wait till the following week, there's a Sturbridge School Committee meeting on that Thursday night. There's just all kinds of things that start to collide with our events. We seem to have events going on every night. Um, so just, it's an idea. Yeah, I mean, if it ends up being, uh, It would be very helpful for us if we could do so it. So what is our schedule last days. day of school? It's June 12th, it's a Friday. So it fits with the 168 the right yeah. with, with the so days for those kids. It's, it's, it's the right prices. weekend. It just happens to be a May 31 instead yeah. of a June day. But I can get the word out to everybody immediately. Mike, does it comply with the uh, Department of Education? Yes. yes, it does. Yes, it does. It does. Okay. And there's no flea market either. I checked. <laughs> that's, that's over way oh, over my head. Yeah. So I want to make sure. Um, so I just want to run it by you guys. If I could have your approval, that'd be great. We'll do that for next year. Get a motion to set graduation for May 31st of next year. Discussion? What's the latest it's fallen in the past? It's fallen on June 7th in the past. We had one year that it fell on June 7th. That was the only time it was two weekends after Memorial Day was celebrated. Typically it's one weekend after. Yeah. So all the requirements are met, Aaron, mm -hmm. you're good? Yeah, as long as it meets the 12 days scheduled yes. prior, 12 days I mean, scheduled, 12 days. Yes. Yeah, we looked at that. Okay. Prior to the scheduled yeah. last yeah. Great. Okay, all those in favor of the motion will say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Abstentions? 
Motion carries. Okay, thank you very much. Appreciate it. All right, Mark. Oh, go ahead, Aaron. Is there a question? Uh, no, not a question, just a comment. Um, uh, being a parent of a senior, uh, obviously was at graduation, just wanted to thank everyone who put it together, and uh, it was it was fantastic. It was an hour and a half. As, as parents, we all we all were, were amazed how fast we could get yeah. that all done. So yeah. just yeah. thank you. We know that uh, a lot goes I'll into it. I'll thank the staff for you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot goes into it, I bet. Audrey and, um, Coonan does a ton, and yeah, it's good teamwork. It's a great example of teamwork. There's a lot of moving parts, so. Mm -hmm. But uh, it was a good day, and, and yeah. I, I want to thank Mike for his speech. Uh, what you did do is you told kids that they can rewrite the same yeah. speech three times in a row. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I only and still deliver it to the <laughs> It's not plagiarism. <laughs> you told them you, you, it, was, it was the third time. <laughs> Mike, it's not plagiarism if you wrote it, right? <laughs> Hey, Mike, McKinsey said it was fine. Wow. Then we'll be doing it in the fourth. Well, I won't tell you a funny story, but that little poem there was read to me years ago, and I've used it a few times, and then when I was given my first speech, you should share it. Yeah, you should share it. I used it a few times, and then when I was given my first speech, you should share it. I used it, and then this woman was walking out and literally grabbed me and said, that's the best advice I've ever heard. And I'm like, oh, she says, I'm 81 years old. That's the best advice I've ever heard. So I said, I got to use it again. <laughs> Great. I didn't use the entire speech again. I just no. used the poem. <laughs> but we'll Eric clearly will take a few years off of that. <laughs> he's done with his graduation. I'm so not going next year. <laughs> <laughs> Phenomenal. All right, Mark. I'm going to use some of Greg's time then. Um, no kidding. Just uh, first of all, um, my wife did have Mr. Plum as a teacher, and she speaks about him still to this day. She's a, she's a flautist, and she still plays in an orchestra, and she learns so much. So that's really kind of cool that after 49 years, which is an incredible milestone for any of us who are in education. He was the, he was the most energetic conductor. Yes. I, I used People would watch him. Yep. I mean, that, that, yeah. he, just, he moved around. Yes. That, he was great. That's just the coolest thing. My report is basically a celebration of the end of the year for the kids and basically highlighting just achievements of individual students and also some departments of what has happened. I also want to share with you, um, we have a building project that comes up every year. This year's was done on, in Brimfield at Page Hill. The one for the upcoming year has already been selected. The person is, her name is Doreen Anderson. She will be retiring to Fiskdale, um, current resident, but also now building a, this is a very big project for us. It's, a, it's about 1,100 square foot ranch home with a full basement. So the next step, just so you know, is Mr. Segan, our 12th grade carpentry teacher, meets with her, runs through the plans. There are some concerns about the roof line, so we'll kind of deal with the roof line. But at that particular point, he will then cost out the plan so she understands what the full boat is going to look like for her. Because basically for the person who gets this, <coughs> it is the cost of materials, the rental of the porta potty for the entire time, which is, that's important. And also, it's $10 a day for every day we have to bring the kids back and forth to the job site. So it probably cost $1,100, $1,200 to the person beyond the, um, the cost of materials. So if all of that pans out, she will then be responsible for getting all the permits in place, getting the um, everything dug out, foundation, everything in place, and we will be good to go with that in September. Once it's all finalized, a contract will be generated. Mr. Valenzuela will be asked on behalf of the school committee to sign off on that, and that'll happen sometime, Mr. Valenzuela, sometime this summer, and we will take care of that. So it's kind of a, it's a big project. It's kind of exciting for the teacher was very excited about it. Um, I was kind of scared when I looked at it, but he knows better than I do when it comes to this. So I think that's a big project. And I also want to tell you, even though it's unofficial, because I can't say it officially yet, um, we are a recipient of a $260,000 competitive grant that will go for, I'll use the term, you're going to do this, it's called Mechatronics. And Mechatronics is, brings us from the point where you actually design to build, and it's going to be a cross-section between our CAD classes, our electrical, and manufacturing. So we have not gotten a word from the State House yet on when the Governor will be meet, meeting with us to um, announce everything officially, but. 
given the fact that it's June 4th, I wanted to make sure you all knew. So this is kind of exciting. The teachers are exciting because some of the technology is just, it is absolutely amazing. It's what the technology is the kids work with today is just, it's, it's, it's mind boggling. It's stuff that I, as a kid, never even knew existed. And these kids are 15, 16 years old are creating stuff that is just the coolest thing. So we are waiting for the, the go ahead with the governor and we'll give you the particulars and in the fall I'll let you know what the pieces of equipment are that we'll be purchasing and we'll take it from there. Mark, do you need a vote on the project tonight if I'm going to sign on? Technically, I looked at all, the, all the, the stuff on it. We don't need a vote. It's just your signature on behalf of the school committee. Okay. Yeah. I just want to comment. I think it's great we're doing a house again. It's been a few years. So. It has. It's I a lot of things have been additions. Really, You're right, Mrs. Really Mrs. Miller. And it's it's kind of fun. And it's a, it's actually a pretty involved project when I looked at it. There's a lot of masonry involved. So, uh -huh. you know, we don't have a masonry program. Right. We don't have plumbing. So there's going to be those added costs to the homeowner. But in the long run, it's going to save them a lot of money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the experience for our kids is just going yeah, to be amazing. Yeah, I bet they'll be excited. Yep. Thank you. That's great. Thank you. Any questions for our principals? Gentlemen, let's see. That brings us to committee reports. Anything for budget? Nothing for budget. No meeting, no report. Technical? No meeting, no report. Curriculum? No meeting, no report. Bylaw and policy? We, we've got some nice <coughs> stuff under our Right, no business. new meeting. Yeah. Um, we're meeting in August, uh, yeah. on the 19th, but we do have unfinished business. We yeah. can do that. Uh, nothing for negotiations no. other than you've already taken a vote relative to the superintendent. Yeah. <clears throat> Building and physical plan? No, no meeting. No. Public access one? No, public. <laughs> no communications. Okay. Brings us to our superintendent's report. Okay. Um, I also wanted to thank everybody for uh, their hard work on graduation. It was a beautiful day. I know it's a great deal of work for Mike and Mark, as well as Kendra Cantrell, our guidance director, Deb Long, our administrative assistant, and a whole lot of other people, um, just teachers, um, support staff, everybody to, to pull it off. And I, I thought it was a, a beautiful day and um, always such a um, day that was so full of pride. I mean, kids are just terrific in heading off to to really wonderful things. Uh, also to reiterate what Mike said, our, our thanks for the incredible continued generosity of our community who um, fund scholarships for students and um, Mike and Mark always remind the kids that they, they're funding these scholarships based on potential and words on paper. They have that much faith in you that they're going to give you this money to go and pursue college. Um, that's how worthy you are and how, the, how our community sees you, which it's just great. It, it was really wonderful. Um, to kind of piggyback a little bit on um, Deb's information, we have had four of the five towns support our budget, and with that, we have had four of the five towns also support the two articles that need to be passed at town meeting to allow Tantasqua to borrow the $2 million for the windows and doors project. So we had our fourth one last night, Sturbridge went well, and our fifth final town meeting in Brookfield is on the 14th. Unlike the budget that we know we have a budget when we hit our fourth town for the MSBA, we are required to have all five towns support those articles. So we are cautiously optimistic that we will get that. Um, have not heard any um, negative information, had no inquiries from MSBA since we submitted our schematic design on May 8th, which means we will make the agenda of the MSBA board meeting on June 26th. And I'll probably shoot you all an email just to let you know that ho hopefully that they've approved us. And then late summer, I think they told us, they'll, they'll start putting together the bid specs right away as soon as the board approves it. Um, and then we'll We'll have some work for the, um, some of the subcommittees and such in the fall with the work to be completed next <coughs> spring. So we're super cautiously optimistic on that. Um, and then finally, we will email these as well, but I'd like to um, pass out the subcommittee um, requests here. Not the formal request for what you want, but rather the description of the subcommittee. So. Typically, uh, we'll send out an email on behalf of Mike in August 
for subcommittee selection. And when we do that, um, we always include this document, but I wanted to get it out to you ahead of time just in case people wanted to review it for selection on the subcommittee. And I think the process would like to be the same for the Senate in August. We yeah. just have folks. Um, Take your top three. Yeah, and Prioritize I think most, them. I think 100% of the folks end up with either their uh, first, first or second <laughs> choice. And I think that we've been able to accommodate that. So. Um, we thank you. Thank everybody for their flexibility. Um, so we have those, and we'll just send out that reminder email. Um, just a, a reminder: when they when we do make the selections this year, can we go ahead with um, sending out who has been selected for those committees? Because last year I didn't even know I was selected. So we email us. Yeah, it didn't come out at that one time. We had to ask. Mm -hmm. the retreat. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's um, what happened is at the retreat, but because we won't be having the retreat, right. um, we can send them out before, or they'd be in the packet yeah. for the September okay. school committee yeah. meeting, and then right. if there are caucuses as part of that September agenda, people would know. To do the that's right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you bet. And um, that is it. Again, thank you very much for your ongoing support. We have about a week up to school. Hard to imagine. I just want to thank you, Aaron, for the emails that we get from you on a fairly regular basis mm -hmm. now, um, letting us know about security drills of any kind, or, mm -hmm. you know, things like that that are really pertinent to the school. And I don't know, I feel much more connected about all of that since thank you. we started doing that. Well, especially enjoyed <coughs> Your five o'clock calls for snow. So. Yeah. <laughs> that was one nice thing about not having a lot of snow days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> those, those were earlier days. <clears throat> All right. That brings us to public access two. All right. We'll move to unfinished business. Um, under unfinished business are all policies on second reading and adoption with J-I-C-H including the amendments from last meeting on the first reading. So I'll entertain a motion that we approve policy G-B-E-B-D, I-L-D, J-I-C-H, K-C-D, all on second reading. No second made by Mrs. Barnacle, seconded by Mr. Haggerty. Any discussion? I just had a, um, I think it's a grammatical error on J I C H, the first paragraph in red. Um, it says approved by the Department of Elementary and Secondary Education to the screen students for substance abuse. I think the T H E is just yeah. It needs to be removed. It should say secondary Two. education to screen students. Right. To screen. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, we missed that. We didn't do the child. We did that. Yeah, that, but we must have missed that one. Oh. I don't know. I didn't catch that the last time. Okay. Around, so. yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Any objection to that amendment? By unanimous consent, we'll move that amendment into inclusion <coughs> in the previous question. Further discussion? All those in favor of the motion as amended will say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. The ayes have it. Motion carries. All right. One item under new business. Um, as folks know, uh, the last several years, due to the fact that we've had the retreat early in September, we usually try to collapse the September meeting and the August meeting into the retreat. Uh, this year, the retreat will be further out in October, but after talking with the superintendent and really evaluating uh, the, the normal business that we need to take up, uh, it's our belief that an August meeting is not necessary, and in the years where we've attempted to have one due to vacation schedules, participation's been a challenge. Uh, we believe that anything that will need to be dealt with can be dealt with at the normal September meeting, and so um, if there's no objection, um, like to let you fully enjoy the rest of your summer through Labor Day. Is there any objection to not having an August meeting? 
I want to have one in July too. <laughs> <laughs> maybe a maybe a second in June. Right, exactly. <laughs> Did you object? I mean, I'll be there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's already got me coming October nineteenth. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one July. So we're going to have one. All right. By unanimous consent, we will not have an August meeting. We will pick business up on September seventeenth. Great. Brings us to our open forum. Brings us to it. Yep. Okay. Remember at the beginning of the year when the fire marshal is like, "Oh, you have to take down all your tiles." Mm -hmm. Whatever happened with that? We stored. Down. We took the majority of them down. They're in storage. The plan was to have uh, Mrs. Willow, the art teacher, get kind of a team of folks and pick the selected tiles that were going to stay that we were going to cover with the fire retardant. And 200 was about um, the number she had selected. The plan was to use this spring, a weekend or two, to have <coughs> teachers volunteer. We have struggled to run into a weekend where it was sunny enough to actually do that. So they are still in storage. The plan is to make sure that the ones that are still remaining in the halls are the ones that will be treated. We'll get them done this summer. And then this summer we will also pick a week where the gym is not being cleaned and we could have public access. And then we'll, we'll do a connect ad. We'll put it on our website, do the best we can to say to folks, if you want to come, you can come get them. Um, but we looked into tr the cost to treat all of them was, was like 15000 It was an obscene number for that special kind of treatment. So Mrs. Willard's work to kind of select some that we're going to keep. But we'll be fully compliant. And we did take down, you can see if you walk around, we did take down the majority of them, but they're all in storage. And we've got to clear out the storage here. Yeah. So the tiles. Thank you. Anything else to come? Forward and open forum. I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Made. Second. Seconded. Discussion? It's not debatable anyway. <laughs> All those in favor will say aye. 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 Opposed? Have a great summer, everyone. We'll be communicating via email on a series of things. Uh, yeah, if there's a Holland member interested in the vacancy on the goals <laughs> committee, please let me know. <laughs> If we don't hear from a Holland member, we'll open it up to the whole thing.